Hi everyone, the honorable judges, the members of Montari group, and the respected participants of this contest. First of all, let us thank the Almighty God. Because of Him, we can attend this contest. Second, I would also like to thank people that have managed this contest well so I can be a part of this event. An event that lets students, like me, express themselves on stage. Hello everyone! My name is Shifa Aliza Putria Fandi. I am 12 years old. I'm from Kidstar School Makassar and I'm currently on 6th grade of primary school. Now, have you ever wondered what will Indonesia look like for the next 10 or 20 or even 30 years later? Well, I know we have our own perceptions on how Indonesia will look like in the future. Let's talk a little bit about Indonesia. When somebody says Indonesia, the first thing that came to my mind is a really huge country with lots of different cultures, with delicious street foods, and even some parts of Indonesia have unique traditions. Indonesia is known worldwide for its nature. Waterfalls, rivers, and mountains, Indonesia has it all. Well, I have a dream that one day I get to visit great places like Mount Bromo, Leang Leang, and Bantimurung Park. I need to prove to myself the beauty of those places. But wait, can my dream still come true? Will those places still be the same after a few years? I am afraid. I am afraid that the beauty of those places are gone before I get to visit them. I am afraid those places aren't as beautiful as they used to be. Because nowadays, Indonesia's nature is in a critical condition. Thrashes are thrown to oceans, rivers, and roads. Pollution is also a common problem in Indonesia. Forests are burnt down to make huge fields and industries. And how about the animals? They get the impact because of this. They lost everything, their shelter, their food and it can also break down the ecosystem. It is scary, isn't it? Research shows that Indonesia loses 1.47 million hectares of forest each year. But all of that doesn't lose my hope for Indonesia. We can prevent this all from happening, starting from reducing our plastic use. We can use eco-friendly bags whenever we go shopping. We can also use eco-friendly products that don't harm the earth. We can start using public transportations, like bus or trains. By doing this, we can reduce the use of gas each year. We can also sort our trashes. We can sort which one is organic, which ones are paper, and which ones are plastic. We can also start throwing trashes to the right place. And don't just throw them to roads, it can harm the ecosystem. Let's nurture the nature for a better future is my motto to keep the environment clean and healthy. I think that's all for my hopes and dreams for Indonesia. I am Shifa Luza Putri. I am from Kidstar School Makassar. Thank you for listening to my speech and see you next time.